Welcome back. So this is my sixth update about BPC-157. Um, and got a lot of good news for you, or I don't know if it's good or not, but it's news. Uh, one of the big things throughout this, up to this point, I've been saying side injection versus just you know, general administration. I don't know what doctors call it, but uh, we're going to talk about that because I've got some experience now. But before we get into that, usual disclaimer. I'm not a doctor. Dumb redneck, making videos on YouTube. This is not medical advice. This is just my personal experience with BPC-157. Uh, I did get the first aid merit badge when I was in Boy Scouts. That's the extent of my medical training. Oh, life-saving. I did the life-saving also. So, you know, totally makes me qualified. Mm -hmm. If you have injuries, and you're thinking, peptides might help me. Go find a doctor. I found mine on the internet. I did some searches, looked around. Yeah, there's some quackery and stuff like that. But you're a smart person. You can figure it out. So go find a real doctor, not a dumb redneck on the uh, inner tubes spouting off. Okay? But... What the dumb redneck will ask you for is a subscription. Could you click the subscribe button, please? I'm trying to build this channel. I'm not going to be a peptide guy. We're going to do this. We're going to continue because it fits into a topic of fitness that I'm interested in. And it also fits in with just the whole high tech thing, in my opinion. I mean, we're doing biohacking here. It's kind of cool shit. Pardon the language. But, uh, yeah, subscribe would be really appreciated. And so... Let's go ahead and get into the rest of this, right? So as for the update, shooting for six weeks, uh, I'm on the second five milliliter vial and I'm just shooting 20 units once a day. I tend to shoot in the evening before I go to bed. Occasionally I've forgotten, so I end up doing it in the morning. Um, and across the board. So earlier on when I was shooting 20 units twice a day, so I do it morning and night. I was getting a little bit of a headache, and I had somebody comment that they got, I guess they got some big headaches, which I hate hearing that. And it kind of goes to what I'm saying about, I really wish we had clinical data. I mean, we're, this is biohacking. This is the, this, I mean, end of one studies. So I did have the headache. But when I went to just doing one shot of 20 units, which is like, what, 0.2 cc's, um, the headaches have gone. I don't have that anymore. Sleep is amazing. Uh, my knees, my shoulders, I'm gaining additional range of motion. Um, yeah, yesterday. Uh, I'm supposed to do these on Wednesday. I actually shot one on Wednesday. Didn't like it. Shot again yesterday, Thursday. Didn't like that one either, so it's Friday, so this is late, but hopefully I like this one. But Thursday, we were doing overhead squats, which I can back squat 350, 355 uh, for reps. But doing an overhead squat, my shoulders, it feels terrible, so I'll drop the weight all the way down to 65 pounds. Yesterday, I was able to work it up to 95. Um, absolutely no problem. I was comfortable doing it. Um, so I think we'll be able to work it up to 135, no problem. Um, which, you know, just shoulder mobility has improved that much. My handstand, my ability to do, my ability to do handstands uh, is improving. Um, it's really getting into skill. It's not a strength issue. Uh, because my arm straightens better, um, getting into that position is more doable and it's stable, which is awesome. So it means I can really start working on this stuff. We also were working on, uh, he programmed crossovers instead of double unders. And uh, we did four rounds of 40 crossovers, blew through that, no problem. Um, my knee didn't bother me. I haven't been jumping rope just to give my knee time to heal and no issue. So I'm really excited about this. Um, what else is there? I keep getting, people keep saying, hey, are you losing weight? 
Scale says I'm not. So I don't know what's going on there. Uh, I mean, this is pretty amazing stuff. You know, I keep joking about Full Metal Alchemist and uh, Equivalent Exchange because I don't know what this is going to cost me. I'm going to grow bat wings or something, I guess. I don't know. So uh, that's where we're at right now. So I mentioned site injection versus just doing general administration. And I don't know what the proper medical term is for it, but when I say general administration, so in my case, we have a torn up degenerative meniscus. Uh, I talked to my ortho, I messaged them, said, hey, where's the damage in my meniscus? And they pretty much said everywhere. So lateral and medial. Uh, I think lateral is on the outside of your knee, medial is on the inside. Correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, it's an easy Google search, but I'm too lazy to perform it for you. Anyway, so pretty much side injection would mean you're jabbing near um, the site of injury. And general, in this case, means like stabbing yourself in the abdomen, around your belly. Um, I'm going to link to a video. I'll, if I can do those card things, I'll put it here. And the doctor's talking through. When you're doing a subcutaneous injection, this is why I've been dismissive of side injection, is that little tiny insulin needle you use to shoot uh, BPC-157 into your body is subcutaneous. It's going into the fascia in your body, which is designed to prevent stuff from getting into your body. It will dis the it will pick up whatever you jabbed, and it will get distributed throughout your body. Um, and you know, as it turns out, you know, I knew about this, but you can also take BPC-157 as a pill. But and I haven't tried it, so again, we don't have clinical data. No clinical data which sucks. Um, but the general consensus seems to be if you take it orally, it works, but it doesn't work as good as injecting it. You don't get the results as quickly. Uh, when I first did my first injection, it was in my stomach, abdomen, um, and I swear it was almost immediate I noticed a difference. From what I've heard, having not done it orally, um, they're like, yeah, I took it for a week, and then I started seeing differences. So you have that. Again, we're biohacking here, so N of one studies. Who knows? Maybe another person takes one pill, and they're like immediately like, wow, this is all better. Don't know. Uh, so anyway, I started off doing shooting around my stomach, which if you've never given yourself injections before, Personally, I suggest this is a good starting place. It, um, you know, you hear people who, you know, the insulin needle, oh, you don't feel it. And I was like, right, sure. You're stabbing something into your body. How can you not feel it? Well, having done it, yeah, you actually do feel it, but it doesn't hurt. I and mean, on a pain scale, it's a one, seriously. Um, it doesn't even hurt as bad as pricking your finger accidentally with a needle or something. It's nothing. So started off my stomach, got very comfortable with that, decided, hey, you know, since it doesn't hurt, why not go ahead and side inject and let's see. So I started off, I just did my inner thigh and didn't hurt. And it did feel strange afterward. Um, like 20 minutes later, it was like there was a sunburn or something. And a friend of mine who's a nurse said it could be that you know you're pushing you know that volume of uh liquid in there and it doesn't really have any place to go and that's just what you felt that's a plausible explanation but because it didn't hurt i went ahead and said well screw it i'm going to inject as close to it as i can so i went in so i've been getting gel injections from my orthopedic doctor and i just stabbed myself in the same place that my doctor, excuse me, let me tighten that down. The wind's blowing. Um, I went in the same spot that my orthopedic surgeon goes in when he gives me a gel injection. So I've been using that site for over a week now. 
I got to tell you, the doctor who I'm, the, the other video, I absolutely believe the doctor, and I agree, you know, he knows more than I do, I assume. But I got to, is it a placebo? I don't know. But my knee feels even better. So, like, if this was injecting into my stomach, this is injecting into my knee. I, you know, there's a dog laying on my feet, so I can't, I was going to physically, like, turn around and make a joke about doing a 180, except it'd be a 360, and anyway. But I can't because uh, one of my foster dogs is laying on my feet, so I'm stuck. Anyway, um, I would say try it. If you're already doing your abdomen, and it's like, hey, now, I pinch, I'll I'm going to be really fancy with the editing. I'm going to put in, this is what it looks like when I'm injecting my knee. Um, how, you know, because I pinch up some skin, jab it in, and get it done. Doing your shoulders, I don't see how you would do that. So you would have to just, I don't know. Let me know how it works out for you if you have to, if you decide to do that. So, uh, or you get your spouse or somebody else to do it you know you're in the locker room everybody shooting wind straw so hey did you do me your circus anyway uh don't do wind straw anyway uh so that is kind of you know side injection I, i've i'm kind of doing a 180 uh i get what the doctor's saying but what i'm experiencing personally is not the same thing which, once again, brings up the need for actual clinical research. You know, uh, Q. Dr. Norton, Dr. Lane Norton, you know, human randomized control trials. I wish we could get some of that for this stuff. It really, I think it's important enough because I'm amazed at how good this stuff works. Now I'm talking, wow, somebody's truck's big. Anyway, uh, that's enough of this. So that's it for this update. Uh, you know, side injection is a thing. Uh, I continue to have great experiences with the BPC. My bat wings have not grown in. There aren't fingers starting to grow out of my neck or anything, which that's good news. Um, so yeah, tune in next week for find out when the side effects kick in. But uh, meanwhile, again, if you don't mind, could you please give me a subscribe. There will be other stuff that I'll be getting to. Um, it's time management, but that's topic for another video. Anyway, y'all have a good weekend, and I will see you later.